Hey guys, and welcome to another worship warm up where we're able to look back at where we were last week and to look ahead to where we're going to be this week in our series. And uh, right now we're in the series through the Gospel of John. And uh, last week we began by studying one of the deepest uh, passages and chapters of Scripture in John 3, and we looked at what it means to be born again. And we saw specifically in John 3, 1 through 15, that uh, really to be born again is a requirement to enter the kingdom of God. So it's something that all of us should take very seriously. But then we saw that being born again, it comes as a result of the work of the Holy Spirit, and it's only possible by the work of Christ. And so because of that, we can be thankful for God's grace. We worship Him for the fullness of it. We trust in Him and His power, specifically in evangelism and in our sanctification as well. This week, we're going to be looking at one of the most famous Bible verses of all time as we look at John 3, 16 through 21, and we're going to look at uh, understanding the Father's love for us. And so I hope that you'll join us this week as we look at how the Father loves us and how that is seen and uh, how it's revealed through this passage. So go ahead and be reading over it. I know you're probably familiar with it, uh, but go ahead again and, and read over it and prepare your hearts and pray, and, and let's see what God does this week here at Bellevue. Thanks for watching. Hey Bellevue family, this week as we continue in the Gospel of John, we're coming to the most famous verse in all the Bible, John 3.16. Our songs this week are, For God So Loved, In Christ Alone, How Deep the Father's Love for Us, In My Jesus I Love Thee. We're introducing a new song this week, For God So Loved, and I hope you take some time to become familiar with it as we get the privilege of singing the scripture that we're about to hear preached from the pulpit. We can't wait to see you Sunday.